Hello again, and I'm turning my mic down. Hello again. Um, okay, so I'm going to show you some lots. I looked at the other video, and I also set it up to um, look a little bit nicer, let's say, on a widescreen. I, I did some camera magic, and... Now you guys should actually be able to clearly see buy and build buy and build mode build buy and build mode should I enter them, um, which is one thing I really didn't like from before. Anyway, the lot we have here is Fort in Height 51, I believe is the name I eventually went with. It's the military base. I this is the angle I play from, but I'll show you guys. I guess the front. Um, coming in the front, there's a little guard house, um, there's the barracks, and there's, of course, one for men and one for women, and there are those bunk beds, um, who are they? Whose bunk beds are those? It's the TSO military bunk bed, and it was converted by someone... Uh, maybe Star Fox? Probably someone on Symbolese Oblige, I think, was doing that TSO conversion, and it wasn't Peter, I don't think. And now somebody's gonna be like, yes, it was Peter, Damon, God, what's wrong with you? That's what, that's what my, uh, hater sounds like. And I forgot that it doesn't look great if I don't have that up. Um, and we're playing as we go. Playing as we go, figuring out as we go. So yeah, there's barracks. There's a little workout area. Um... There's a cafeteria, there's the science lab, which I actually made these, I actually made these for my own use with a custom controller to control them. Um, which was a thing that I did. And of course we have this little reception area, and we have an office. I have a couple little offices upstairs. I don't think I actually have anybody working upstairs. Um, anyway, let's actually play the lot. Oh, everyone's asleep. Oh wait, no they're not. Who's up? Oh, Diane! Kyle is apparently the guard here, but Diane is awake. And, um, about to die. He really seems to want to tease her. Kyle really... I don't know where that head is from, by the way. No, you're not. Stop tormenting poor Diane. Where's Dina? Oh, Dina's awake over here. The mayor may not be stuck inside trust. And Dina, however, is in a great mood. Um, let's go watch some TV. Charleston is also in a great mood, which seems weird. But it's also two in the morning. So, what about Tim? Tim and Corey are asleep. Alright. Diane is still in the shower. Jesus Christ, Kyle. Lay the fuck off. Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't curse, probably. But I did. <gasps> Oops! Did I swear? <laughs> Diane, wake up and go to bed. You know what? You're up. Go work out. Hey, 
I play basketball. <gasps> For some reason, he really wants to pick on... He really wants to pick on people for some reason. And for some reason, the Z's are not correct on that chair. Do I have free will on? I do, okay. Koji's trying to play volleyball by herself, that's so sad. Let me see, come on. Okay, 6 a.m. Oh, Cory, what do you need? You open yet? No. Oh. Mm, free will's on, so they'll do what they need to do. Oh, that is open. All right. Are you stuck, Diane? I seem to recall these beds are slightly buggy. Wouldn't it be novel if I spelled things correctly? I don't like to keep cheats on if I don't have to. I think... I'm actually some of my outfit gnomes. Because... The dress right gnome is a work in progress. I do kind of want them to get dressed, not hang around in their pajamas. So, of course, you know what? Why not? Maybe I'll let them hang out in their pajamas. I think does Charleston work? I think she. Yeah, Charleston works at the lab. Where he will be changed, I think, into work clothes anyway. Now. There's Cory. I had someone work in the office. They're, they probably come slightly before session. Let's see. Okay, so they are afternoons and evenings in there, and I think they're morning afternoon in here. Yep. Oh, Diane's just going to work in her jam jams. Okay. The gnome should put her into work pretty soon. Oh, no, it won't actually, because she's a residential sim. A residential sim on a residential lot, so no, it won't. Okay. 
Because you guys can go work out. Okay, well, I'm sure this has been exciting. But I need to save. Let's bring up the neighborhood. The neighborhood would look very funny if I did it this way. Um, what haven't I shown you guys? It's actually interesting. <laughs> Alright, the Benson Mum. I'm, I'm very proud of this lot. The Benson Mums are probably my single favorite family. So there's Berkeley, Donna, Caroline, and Jami, their son. Now, Berkeley is a mad scientist, Donna is his assistant, Caroline's his wife. And as you can see, they have both children. And do I have. Well, okay. Berkeley is kind of a wizard. Not a very good wizard, but he is a wizard. Um. care of anything growing in the garden for the longest time. What's Donna need? Donna needs social. What do you need? You also need social. Alright, you need bladder. I just, I really like this lot. Because, it, I just, I don't know, I just, I do really like this lot. You know, these outside areas... I guess I'll start with downstairs. Like you have this outside garden that goes into a little conservatory, which then goes into music conservatory, which goes into... Like, there's all these little rooms, it, it, I feel like it's actually a castle, and there's a spa, which every castle is a spa, right? No, it doesn't. Um, and there's, like, all these doors that, like, I, I feel like it is actually kind of laid out like a castle, with all these little rooms, and these little compartments. This is a garden we actually do garden in, by the way. Here, and this is, this is, uh, their, pat. this is not pat, this is Caroline and Berkeley's bedroom. Caroline got to decorate it herself. Um, you can you can see that actually is a painting I made myself. Uh, and I, I did some work in Photoshop on it. Um, I forgot I put that in here, but I I absolutely I love that. There's a story with that painting, which I'll scroll around a lot a little I guess while I tell you because otherwise there's a room for. Donna and someone else, and there, there's like two little guest rooms, and then this is Jami's room up here actually, and another guest room. And off of that, there's this little thing. But um, no. So the story with the painting is Gem and the Holograms. Uh, they they released a new wave water bed, which is a bed that folds into a um, it folds into it folds into a keyboard, and they asked the box art artist Sharon Tell to do art of it. And, um, <clears throat> oh, I love this room. Just, I love this. Um, anyway, she wasn't kind of like, she's like, oh, how do I draw just what's essentially a big lump of plastic? So what she ended up doing was, this is Caroline's room, by the way. Or no, not Caroline, Donna. This is Donna's room. And I used an apartment bed, but I really just used the bed so that people didn't sleep in her bed. And this is like sitting room, but um, no. So anyway, they they asked her all essentially a big rectangle of plastic, and she didn't know how to do that. And what ended up happening was she took all these naked dolls and arranged them on the bed in what she called the gem orgy. Took a Polaroid, faxed it to Hasbro, and said, "How about this?" And they simply responded, "We are not amused." Um, 
and that's I just I kind of love that story. Now I have a painting of her with a gradient and a naked doll on a bed because that's what Jim Cunn's all about. Um, that's, I just I love this a lot. The family itself is not too terribly interesting to play, so I'm not going to go into great detail about that. I don't know, I don't know what I like better. I don't know if I like the whole screen with the filter on the sides or what. Um, is there anything else? It's really worth it for me to show you guys. You know what I'm going to do, actually, I think? I'm going to show you guys some of the community logs. I think I'm going to do that. You know, that's what I'll do. I'll load up this log. And, um, this is Doris Her This is Doris Uranus Hertz. And Melvin Uranus hurts, and um, it's I I like this lot not quite as much as the Benson Mums Castle, but uh, so I know I know a lot of the songs in Simlish by heart. But everyone's asleep. I'm sure you don't hear me just sing along to the radio. He just needs just to sleep in the hallway. But we're waiting. Oh, he's up. I think he's up. Yes, Melvin is up. And he's gonna do a drink punch. Is Doris up? No, Doris is not up yet. Yeah, they even have separate bathrooms. They're married, but only by law. Oh no, Skunk is to better call animal control. Services, animal control, then you can take a shower. Actually, no, you also need comfort, so take a bath. <laughs> yes. Oh. Yeah, that pixelated nudity. Doris is still asleep. Alright, let's have him not die. Let's see if we can do that. You think we can do that? You think he can not die? What's that? Is that a burglar? Nope. I have an email, pay it to no mind. Okay, from the buffet. Mm. Well, now he needs energy and fun, but I think I'm going to just have him actually go properly to sleep. I know I go to bed at 5 a.m., don't you? But, um... Now, once he's feeling better, I'm going to take him down some of the, uh... community lots I've built. That's... which one's me? Which one's the sim? Can't tell. Is he up? There's Doris up. Nope, Doris is up. Alright, I'll play Doris for a little. Their butler called the repair service. Oh, doors, follow doors. And she also needs hygiene, but she's going to take a shower. Actually, no, use the toilet, then take a shower. I did hack a shower, Sims can pee in, but in practice, I don't really play with that object much. Actually, maybe, maybe we'll take doors. The summer lots I've built.
Hey, you know what? Call cab. Let's go downtown. Let's take Doris downtown. Yes. I'd say shortly. You have, I think, an hour. Well, whatever. Normally I don't even play with the butler, because there's really no point to the butler, but it kind of worked for, you know, what I was doing with these sims in this house, so... It's kind of a why not sort of thing. Just an hour sit. Till the taxi comes. And yes, I do want to leave. I will switch to this view before the screen comes up. Now let's see, what are lots that I built? Ah yes, the unaware house. Uh a little shop of center. Oh. Ah, yes, yeah, so restaurant haunt. Uh, you know, let's go to the beach first. So, this is the probably clean beach, which is, of course, probably clean. Um, the story with this is that the old Uranus Hertz warehouse dumped off. Like, just it, it previously would just let things run off and. This is this is based on a Maxis lot, but I I spruced it up. Um I like the idea more than the practice of this lot. But I think if I have her go in there, yep, this lot, thanks to my gnomes, will dress her in Luau wear. Actually dresses everyone in Luau wear. But Oh, you want some fun? Well, too bad. You, you don't get to have any fun. I should have really put a pool on this lot, but another one has a pool, but whatever. Again, this is a lot that I... I the, it exists more for storytelling purposes and the idea than anything else. Janitor Sony's just there waiting to get hit by a car. See? That car, that car al that almost hit her. I also, I also think it's fun to put sims in the Luau Air and actually use some of the trunk cosy. Whoa, Caroline, hold up. You have the same gross... Oh my, oh my god. How is she... I just can't believe she wore those jeans like me. Uh, are we sharing a cab, or are you just getting in the way, Caroline? No, she just wanted to get in the way. Yeah, let's just stroll down the middle of the street. That's what everyone does, right? Of course they do. Um, let's see. I don't think I finished building that mall, actually, so let's go to the restaurant. And I'm not exactly sure what she's wearing right now. But um, it won't. It will be irrelevant as soon as she goes in the restaurant. Actually, here I'll show you guys the lot a little more this time. So this just the second floor just has this little bar area up here, um, and that's that's really it. It's all that's up on the second floor is a little bar. The first floor is just a big restaurant, and you're actually supposed to come in over there. And the thing about going over there, when other sims walk in here, it will dress them in formal wear. Because she's playable, it does not dress her. Because in my mind, you as the player can control what your sim wears.
but you cannot necessarily control what other sims wear, see? So they just come in and they're they're dressed correctly. You know what? She is actually hungry, so let's let's have her have a small meal. She's not really dressed for the place, but you know. She's underdressed, but she's Doris Uranus. She does what she wants. I will rotate the camera so that we can see. Yeah, I, I, I used the fish tanks for privacy. I don't. I didn't do a lot of the little tables because more often than not, I like to use the booths. Of course, the fun thing about being on a date, well, or going downtown, is spying on the other dates. For instance, there's Contessa and Corey. Ooh, <gasps> Humbert? I don't know who Humbert is. There's Jersey. <gasps> Are Jersey and Aggie a couple now? It's Graham. <gasps> it's Graham, Aggie's landlord. Did he see her on that date? Is this a date? Or is this just the most formal business meeting in the world? <gasps> Are Graham and Juanita a thing? <gasps> <gasps> is this the slowest restaurant ever? <gasps> do those counters not like to actually make... Do those counters not like to actually make the uh, shape? Major General Steven Runtime Error, that was his name. Huh. Look, why you just You just fucking almost got hit by a car, so you move like three feet to the right and Oh And you're still not even eating yet. Who's that? Oh, Claudia. That's uh, the general's wife. Are they here together? Or is she dining alone? <laughs> is she gone straight for the bar? Oh, I thought she was gone straight for the bar. That would have been funny. Is, is, is Doris going to starve to death before her meal gets here? Oh, Juanita's dining by herself. Oh, there we go. Yeah, unfortunately, sometimes the graphics have glitches on my machine, and there's... actually I might be able to help it a little bit. You'll, um... Try something. There, it's possible this will help? No, it didn't really. Yeah, unfortunately, 2D transparency with alpha layering, it's just not something a lot of newer games use, and... It's not... Alright, well, she wants to have some fun, so... Where can I take her to have fun downtown? No. Follow her. I swear I built a spa. Maybe the spa's not in this neighborhood. Actually, it's 6 p.m. So really, she could... ...go to the club. Bring up her relationships. Oh, she is, she is friends with her husband. That's always good. Let's see. I don't really, that's just a maxis lot, and I kind of don't want to 
show you guys too many of the maxes. You know, yeah, let's take her to the club that she she technically owns. Melvin manages the club, but she can go to the club. I left it on the lot while well, the neighbor screen, so you probably saw how utterly ridiculous that looked. Now, I believe it will force people into club wear, but... Yep. Uses the rave gnome. People, people are changing into the rave clothes. Yeah, upstairs is kind of just... There's a couple tables upstairs, but that's it. It's just a big warehouse. That's what I designed it as. Somehow I don't see Doris as the dancing type, but she might enjoy breathing a little bit. She's had she had quite a bit of fun. Just for a very short time. Alright, well you know what? Go dance. Maybe you'll enjoy dancing. Yeah, one of the objects I'm working on is an intelligent dressing gnome, and the idea is that you can it'll sort of try and figure out how sims should be dressed based on their personality and other factors and the room that it's placed in. But a situation like this would be difficult because some sims would just wear their normal clothes, some would probably be in rave wear. So that's, you know, I'm working on it. Did I, do I have a bathroom here at all? Oh, okay. Porta potties. Like at any good trashy club, I've porta potties. Okay, I think I think we've about exhausted. Yes. Besides, it's after midnight. Okay, so I'm going to save, and I think I'm actually going to go into build mode, the neighborhood, and I might just show off a couple lots in build mode. I don't think I did a lot of building on Vacation Island. Ah uh, yes, Batman's on vacation right now, not a lot, okay, I did do one. I did build a lot on all of them. Maybe do I spot down studio too? Oh yeah, the hardly rockin' cafe. It's a pun. <laughs> Dude, I like to I end up building down Magic Town quite a bit. Ah yes. I did build one Magic Town lot. It's not super interesting though. anything... I don't really have anything terribly interesting left to show. 
Um, it's another 35 minute video, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you like it better than the other one. And I might keep doing Sims videos, I might do something else, I don't know, we'll see.